Rookie mode, rookie mode, rookie mode, my friends. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Carter Nolan is behind the camera. That, that phrase could not be more appropriate. The good morning, afternoon. Good morning, afternoon. It's... <laughs> We're so sorry how delayed this is, what guys. Is it right now, this is not going to be a common thing. It is 4 10 a.m. But <laughs> fuck it! Carter just got home finally. I so we're gonna do so this. Going it's had on. a long day. I've had a long, annoying time, but it's okay because let's get to the video now. Also, if you're new, please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 600 subscribers by the end of October. Thank you very much. Yeah! Anyway, let's go! So, the Winnipeg Jets defeat the Bakersfield Condors 5 to 1. <laughs> Don't you dare fucking tell me this was the Edmonton Oilers. No McDavid, no Dry Settle, no Zach Hyman, no Mike Smith. Was Who Nick else was there? Was no Nick no Ryan Nugent Hopkins, no Jesse Pugliarvi. This is the Bakersfield Condors. The best player on the ice was Zach fucking Cassian. That is a damning statement. That is damning with fake praise. Um, so, let's get into this. Uh, Shifley's playing. I didn't know they could do preseason, but I guess because he wasn't suspended in the preseason, it works. Just like how R Ridley Gregg is suspended in a preseason game and a regular season game. Who knew? Uh, Hanala shit, Hanala, sh shit, Hanala DeMello pairing, and Schmidt is in playing with Morrissey. Nice. Um, so Annette, Hellbuck is Annette, and... Konovalov and Skinner split time in net for the Edmonton Oilers. Let's go into the first period. This is a very weak Oilers squad, and Jansen Harkins would clean it up in front of the net to make it 1-0 Jets reaction here. Oh, nice! Oh, nice! Yeah! Oh, nice! Great play! Honestly, there's so much I like on that play. From the setup pass in the corner... To the pass in front, to the finishing of the play. Great start! And honestly, this whole game was just a, just really controlled by the Jets. There was solid offense. There was decent defense. Um, Saffron would take a high sticking penalty for the Oilers, which would get us a power play. Then there was a huge save by Konovalov uh, when it seemed like he was way out of his net reaction there. Oh! Oh, what a save! Oh, what a save! Really good save. And yeah, you know what? I, you gotta give respect to the goalies when you can, especially the Oilers goaltending, because the Who's Oilers got uh, Connor Hellebuck. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Oilers goaltending was hung out to dry. Uh, the scoring chances in the first period was nine to one for the Jets. Um, it was not close. Um, the Perfetti Harkin Svechnikov line I set in the first period. I really liked it. And yeah, that would in would really continue. In the second period, early in the period, Svechnikov would tip it in to make it 2 nothing to the Jets' reaction here. Yep! 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 Sorry, PETA, you caught me eating pork. Guess I'm gonna hear about that one. Yeah! Oh my god, it was, it was Svech! It was Svech! It was the better Svech! And honestly, after that, um, Nemelainen would take a cross-checking penalty. We'd go on the power play. And then later in the period, on a net drive, Essa Simmons, I think is how you say it. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure I could, might have mispronounced that. Or, and I'm not even sure if it's him. It, he makes a net drive, bounces up in the air, hits a guy in the leg, and then goes in. It counts. There's no kick motion, no nothing, but it bounces off, goes in. Puts us up 3 nothing reaction here. Go, 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 go. Yay! Woo! Out of way, out of way. And then afterwards, we take a couple penalties. Uh, Wheeler takes a slashing penalty where he slashes out of his stick. The uh, the commentators try to say like, "Oh, you got to hold on your stick." No, that's in the hand. That hurts. Um, and then Morrissey takes an interference penalty, which uh, I don't know. Doesn't really need to. Uh, which puts us on the penalty kill for both times. We kill both off. Um, there is a goalie swap there, so uh, Stuart Skinner goes in net. Uh, he did fine. Uh, he, he seemed a lot more calm than uh, Konovalov, um, who seemed a little stressed, a little nervous, a little anxious. He was having a lot of trouble behind his net, which led to that great save, but he shouldn't have needed to do it. Um, and then Harkins on a breakaway goal to make it 4 nothing reaction here. Ruford, 
Oh, nice! Whoa! Oh, ho, ho. I think I'm in love with this line. I think I'm in love with this line. This line looks better and better by the day. Honestly, by the goddamn minute, this line looks better and better. Who starts this play? DeMello, up to Svetch, through there, up to Harkins, bing. And honestly, holy crap, this line, holy crap, this line. I love this line, every single bit of it. Who is it again? Harkins, Perfetti, Svechnikov. Could we that see line it in was amazing. Regular Maybe, but I don't know, because that there's so many pieces of lines that make up that yeah. I don't think allows them to. Uh, however, Brad Malone would then make it 4-1 through a screen by Vili Hanel, unfortunately. 4-1 reaction here. Well, shit. Through some traffic, and the Edmonton Oilers are on the board here with 1.13 to go uh, in the second period. Well, what it is what it is. The guys that are on the bubble, Billy Hale, I would be one of those guys, and he's a oh, great no. skater and a really intelligent guy. Why are you keep talking about him? Oh, Billy. Billy, he needs to see that. And yeah, end of the second period, it's 4-1. And then third period, it's pretty relaxed. Uh, it was a pretty stagnant period, even the announcer said it. And then Kyle Connor on a pretty much a one-timer that deflects off an Oilers player, right to his stick, open net, scores, 5-1 reaction here. Woo! Yeah! Now, Skinner looked like he was a little upset because that was really quick. And like, I don't know. I, I need to get a second look at this just to make sure we're all good. Like, let's see here. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. There's no contact with the goaltender on the way through. Oh, maybe there is. I don't think he's got enough time to get it. Chances both ways. Esposito takes a late hit on Hanela, but honestly, that'll do it. Jets win 5-1. This game was pretty much a gimme game off the bat. A lot of teams don't use their best squad, especially in preseason on the road. They want their better teams to be at home to show the fans, be, give a more respectful game. Um, this team was by far and away an extremely weak Oilers team. We need to see more results. But that being said, the guys that needed to step up, stepped up. Now, that leads me, though, unfortunately, to the Mike Award. Mike Award, for the worst jet, is going to go to Kristen Veselainen. What are you? Tell me what you are. You are a former first-round draft pick and a highly touted prospect. What are you doing? Fucking nothing. He's not doing anything. He doesn't, to me, act. Seem like he acts like he wants to fight for a spot on the roster. He's just going through the motions. He hasn't impressed me. He hasn't stood out to me. I was even talking to Peg City Hockey, whose video you should check out, by the way. But he didn't even remember that he played tonight. He's played in both games and has got a grand total of zero points and done nothing. Step up if you want to make a roster spot. You are fighting for a spot against guys who are having... Pretty much the time of their lives trying to pressure. Honestly, Svechnikov is making a case to try to play in the top six, for God's sakes. So step up or get out of the way. Top three is pretty simple. And I'm not putting the goaltending because we really didn't need it tonight. Hellbuck was awesome, of course, as usual. But we didn't really need him. So top three. Um, honorable mention. Huh... It's a bit tough. I would actually give Billy Hamill an honorable mention because he had a very good bounce back game tonight. Um, good on a lot of setup plays. The first goal was set up beautifully by his dump-in pass. Um, third star would be Cole Perfetti. He had two assists. Um, second star would then be Evgeny Svechnikov, a goal and an assist. This line would combine for seven points on the night, which is the big story. And then a first, of course, first would be Jansen Harkins with two goals. One on a great cleanup crew type gritty type goal. And another would be creating a breakaway chance where he would just snipe it top shelf. And honestly, that's pretty much it. I, I know this video is coming up extremely late. I'm so thankful for you guys for checking it out. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. One we answer thing, all of it. Yes. I want to see Burden play a game. 
Oh, Burden will play. He will play on the in the road trip when we go on the road because hell, look, I don't think he's going to be on that. I, I honestly, I feel like Burden has a chance of being the backup, and I. I, I oh, he to... does, but I'm not sure if we'll use his first year. Um, his first year on that, but we'll yeah. see. But yeah, anyway, honestly, give him a chance. The defensive pairing seems pretty set in stone. Like I would love to see. Um, it looks like we're going to see Morrissey Schmidt, Demel, uh, D- Dylan Pionk, and then. Stanley DeMello or Stanley and Hainless switching part time, which I would like to see actually. But that's pretty much your, your roster, and I, if that's fine, that's it. Then I'm I'm fine with that group of six. Um, because Pion can honestly have a breakout season as well too. Another one. Um, yeah, no, honestly, like there's just a lot I liked about this game. But again, we are playing an AAHL like an AHL team. This was not the Edmonton Oilers. This wasn't even close. And honestly, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest here. The game coming up. That will be a goddamn test because that you're getting a home team Oilers who are motivated to win, which at least half of the guys I mentioned playing, possibly more, possibly all. So good luck. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave a like, comment down below, as I already said. Thanks for watching. Follow us, each of us on Twitter. Our information's down below and on Instagram because then you can get notified if there are other delays like this one. Because links tell you. to all that in the description. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, lads. W.